Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 Darkest Hour mod. This will be a campaign playing as Germany. If you don't know what the Darkest Hour mod is all about, it pretty much changes everything from the base game. So it revises the national focuses for majors and minors, reworked and tweaked technologies to cover the 60s, adds in new modifiers, tons of new events, rebalances the weather and terrain modifiers, and World Wars are meant to be done in a couple of years. This is going to pretty much rebalance everything to do with the game. So currently, Germany is the only country uh, finished. Hence why we're going to be doing a little campaign as Germany. So, yeah. If you'd like to turn this, see this turn into a series, of course, please do let me know in the comments below. And help out the channel by leaving a like. It'd be very much appreciated. Uh, so you'll notice that we have the German Empire flag rather than the Schwarzstika. Uh, and that is due to... It. If, it, if, it, if I've used the swatch flag, this kind of the video wouldn't be shown in Germany. Um, and I don't think German players could actually use the mod either. So we're going to be sticking with this. There is a sub mod to change it to the flag if you want to change it. But I've just kept it as the base one. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to jump on in and see what happens, really. This playthrough will be pretty blind. But it's been a little while since I've done a series which has been longer than... Like, two episodes. Uh, so, hopefully, you guys and gals will enjoy. So, what we have here, you can see the focus tree has been expanded by quite a bit. What we're going to do is probably start with the Rhineland. And then, that will probably lock out most of these for a little while. Uh, but you can see that it is just huge. I, in my head, I was thinking, that's what she said. But I've been watching way too much US Office. So, let's just jump into this. And you'll notice that if you've watched anything of Hearts of Iron 4 from me before, you'll realise I am quite, uh, I would say, semi-competent. People would not agree with that. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I enjoy Hearts of Iron 4, even if I'm not particularly good at it. And I'm going to keep playing it. Also, expect to see more of the... Hearts of Iron 4 challenges. I'm just not in a position where I can edit at the moment. Uh, this week is going to be jam-packed. Um, my sister is visiting from England. Uh, so I am pretty much doing lots of touristy things with her in Vancouver uh, this week. And we're also going away to Vancouver Island for a little while as well. Uh, so it is quite tight to actually get any videos done. But I think that's fine. Haven't really taken a vacation from videos in... Ooh, I can't even remember when. So it'd be quite nice to take a couple of days off. Uh, I'm just getting banking some videos today. Uh, this is Monday. This will probably go up on Tuesday, I think. And yeah, really looking forward to having a couple of days off, relaxing properly. Um, because even pretty much every evening for the past year or two, I've been doing videos along with my full-time job, which it can kind of stretch you sometimes. But, I think it's all going to be worth it in the long run. Okay, so I think we're all good to go there. And that's pretty much all I need to do to set things up. I could get some divisions in basic training. In fact, that's probably what I should do. So let's just train a bunch load of infantry divisions. And, of course, get some tanks. We will need lots of panzers in the war to come. Wars, I should add. And SS divisions too. So we're really kind of stretching our resources there. But, you know, it's fine. I'm not really going to bother with mountainous divisions. We're not going to need them too much to start off with. Unless we really need to declare war on Austria or Switzerland. Uh, in terms of cavalry divisions, I just don't really like them. Uh, I know some people do. I really don't. I, I, don't, I don't really know what they're good for. Uh, so, you know, please do feel to elaborate and educate me in that. Because... I just, I just don't use them. I usually try and convert them if I have time. But, yeah. So currently, our Craig's Marine really isn't that large. We will have Carl Bonnets in. But they're going to stay there until I can really put them to any use. Uh, so this is a little sub-mod as well. There are various mods that kind of change the text and stuff. I really like this kind of change of Rooney here. I think it looks quite cool. Actually, I think the music might be a little low in game. So let's just change this about. I think it's a bit better. There we go. 
Okay. So let's take a little look. Mr. Adolf Hitler, we get 25% political power gain. Currently on limited conscription, limited exports, and partial mobilization. We're doing the Rhineland. There we go. So, Germany has stationed troops along the Rhineland. It is German territory. I imagine all of them will back down. I could go straight down the anti turn Pact. And then, then down on the Tripartite Act. But I think I might go strengthen the Schutzfaststaffel. Uh, which will get Heinrich Himmler available as a political advisor. And then we can also go down this route as well. Or I could go down the army route and... Hmm. Most of these I don't really know. Okay, or I could actually focus on... Oh yeah, these are quite powerful. Privatization effort, Reich's Autobahn, coal liquefaction. So I might go down that so I get an extra six civilian factories just from that which would be great strength through joy would also increase my national spirit no it wouldn't no we we'll gain the national spirit strength through joy but i think i'll do that which increases our factory output and our dockyard output by oh that's only 35 days so i think that's worthwhile doing that oh and we can also now add in a political advisor if i wanted to i'm probably going to do the hanja schlacht because we want to increase our civilian factory speed, construction speed. Okay. Well, I'm going to set my divisions up against Mr. Poland. But apart from that, pretty much everyone knows how to start the base game. Or at least if you don't, you can kind of see what I did then. The Spanish Civil War. So we could send volunteers down to Spain. And I think that might be prudent because we probably do want allies in the future. So let's just see. So Republican Spain has between 50 and 84 divisions. So they are outnumbered. We will send them our Panzer divisions down, I believe. Uh, so let's just uh, plop one there. Plop two there. Plop you in command. Eric von Manstein. And let's see if you would like to take if my divisions in a multiplayer game recently i did actually hand over divisions when i was playing as the ussr to uh ooh nationalist spain that was that was a bit of a mistake to say the least right. unassigned divisions okay we'll let them build up we don't really need them in an army at the moment there we go yeah, we'll just let them come out. I'm not really in that dire of a need of them. Okay, we're actually going to send our bombers over here. In fact, most of my fighters... Are those my naval, the naval bombers? So that's them to the North Sea. Yeah, naval strike. Just when we need them. I don't need them at the moment. Oh, wow. Everything finished pretty gosh damn quick. So sometimes I set light goals for episodes. Uh, I think as I'm going away and I can't really commit to a set schedule on this, I don't really think it's fair that I say, I demand 1,000 likes for this series. Because I think it's just going to be one that I really just enjoy. And if we don't get that much interest from it, I can always just uh, switch it to a live stream. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty, pretty good idea. Okay, so most of these are pretty much all the same. Chief of Army. Let's decrease our training time. That'll be a, a bit of a boon. Okay, so our volunteer... Are we there? We are here. So I think we'll just... Um, try and take Barcelona. Oh no, shall we try and take them? We'll help them take Madrid. Okay, so for this, I'll probably set it down to maybe two speed. And then we'll go. Okay, so that will last for another four days. And then we can push through and take Madrid. I imagine... Oh, wow, they're very close to capitulation already. Okay, that's because we just literally just drove into Madrid. Thanks, game. Appreciate ya. And shall we do a cheeky encirclement here? We'll do a cheeky encirclement. See if we can punch through. 
Isolate these divisions. Cut off those. And then maybe try and work our way to Barcelona. Yeah, so they are... I think they're pretty screwed. Now the in-game sound is... Seems a bit high, so please just let me know, guys, in the Sorry, comments below later. if it's a bit loud. And I will try and change that for the future. Actually, I don't even need to isolate those guys. I could just isolate these. And then they'd be absolutely... But it's best just to kind of... Oh, yeah, they've been encircled anyway. Great. So let's just wipe them out. And then we'll focus on taking Barcelona. So, my voice is a little bit scratchy today. It's a bit of a pain. Okay. So they can go to the front. In terms of infantry equipment... Oh, we've got 100% equipment in the field ratio. So that is awesome. And how are we doing in terms of factories? I was like, yep, doing pretty well. In fact, yeah, it'd be good to get some extra civilian factories. Okay, let's help finish those off. Oh, well, apparently they're actually... They're still holding. That is quite surprising. Huh. Oh, no, never go. There we go. Should be able to take them out now. We are taking attrition there, which is kind of odd. Could do the west wall. I don't really need that at the moment. That will give us more civilian factories. I think that is probably the best one we can do this early on. To gain so many extra factories. Hmm. Construction is finished. And Dabby Dozy. Slowly going to finish off those four divisions. Most, it looks like most of their divisions are getting encircled. We've got between 27 and 64. Actually, I can just look at it through this, can't I? Oh, well, okay. Taking out these divisions will certainly increase their casualties. Looks like Madrid is firmly in our control now. Okay, so that's them all done and dusted. I think I might try for a bit of a spit. Spearhead. Looks like we're just going to take them out regardless to try and get there. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but I'll allow it. Okay. So I guess I will set them all to there. I don't think this mod... Oh no, it's still in Western Germany. Oh yeah. I think I set them all to Western Germany. This is just preempting it, really. I don't really need to do this. But I guess it's always good to prepare. And we can certainly go over Western Poland. For when the inevitable happens, and we must take it. Okay. So I'm never really sure what is best to do to start off with. Ah, there we go. We have shown our best to the world. Very good. Actually, I would like extra army experience if we could get that. Air experience. Ah, so we need to do Akshtong Panzer in order to unlock that fella. Which I will... Oh, it's just down there. There we go. So that might be worth it in a minute. So we get some extra army experience and division speed plus 10. Yeah. Berlin, Moscow, Axis. What the? Wow. Wow. Sorry, I've just seen that, um, the tweet uh, with that lightsaber battle with Owen Wilson. Every time the lightsaber touches, it goes, wow, wow. Wow! It was kind of it was, it was quite hilarious. Okay, we'll give all the panzers to Rommel. As he will be in need of them. And all the infantry divisions can go under you, sir. Okay, you 
please continue to go up here. Just finish them off, please. Okay, so I think that's all the extra civilian factories we can get this early on. I could add... Ooh, synthetic refineries. Damn, these boosts are pretty darn lovely. Oh my god, you can support the IRA. <gasps> oh, the Luftwaffe. Yeah. Okay. But I think I'll probably go down... Hmm. Madagascar plan... Oh, wow. So these... Okay. We'll do that. Let's add a little bit of a military high command to improve our infantry. I think we can speed it up again. Okay, so that's done. Let's go and head to Barcelona. Not exactly where I wanted you to go, tanks. But you're doing it regardless, and you've actually cut off these divisions. So if we can cut off Barcelona, they are going to take a heck of a lot of attrition. There we go. Keep on going, boys. Keep on going. Eventually we'll be able to push. Looks like they've pumped in a ton more divisions, though. Wow. Wow. I will stop doing that. It's just a bit of a novelty in my head at the moment. Pop you in there, sir. So one thing that I usually do is declare war too early on. That is something I will endeavour not to do in future. Because I literally won't be able to... Uh, I don't know exactly what all this changes. However, I'm pretty sure it's going to be... Pretty dire if I declare war... Too early on. Safe to say. Okay, we'll do Ashtong Panzer. I don't know that I need to worry about that at the minute. We could have Speer. Fascist Demosgog, we're pretty good. I mean, we've only got 60%. That's not actually that much. Luckily, no one will try and turn us, which is fine. Let's add some air superiority here. Where are you going? Okay. Well, let's go there, please. Okay. So we're almost running out of research ahead of time here. Although we are in December. So I could probably start on 1937 stuff now. It would definitely help just to maybe do some of these naval doctrines. Not too much about carrier. Pretty radar patrols or battleships. I would prefer submarine operations. I'll probably go down that route because they're cheap to build. Okay, so they're wasting their troops on me. That's fine. I'll take it. But they've got a lot of divisions. If they lose Barcelona, the war is done. Yeah. So I'm guessing they're going to try their best not to lose it. You know, makes sense. However, I very much would like them to lose. And try and bring nationalist Spain in the Axis. Bring them all in the Axis. Bring them all in. I think we'll go down the strength. And so what I could do while we're just waiting for all of this... Take a little look. Ah, we could do expand the Craig's Marine as well. Probably do the Luftwaffe. Operation Sea Line. Oh, yes, sir. Uh... Almost there. Slowly going to take Barcelona. Come on, boys. Put your backs into it. Oh, no. Oh. <gasps> Oh, okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. If we get cut off here, that would have been quite dire. So we're going to win in less than a day. And that should be them capitulated. Yes? No? Oh, well. Come on, man. Damn. Damn. Strength through joy. I think I might do that. 
total war. Wow. Flak towers. Oh, that's pretty cool. In Brandenburg. So we have to have... Oh. Oh, you can build the Atlantic Wall. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Treaty of Rapallo. Hmm. Bog's Mineshaft. Or the... I'm just trying to see which gives me the best kind of bonuses to start off with. Could do Blitzkrieg. anti turn Pact. How close am I to be able to, to, be able to do the Angelus? 517,000. So we're pretty close to be able to do the Angelus. I think for now, I might actually go down Strength Through Joy. 35 days. Okay. Delay. It's fun playing on 5 speed, but I always forget how much you have to... Oh my god, you can do atomic research in 1936. Yes. We will have all the nukes. Did not realise that. Yes, I'm going to certainly do that, of course. Okay. So where was the one that I wanted? I think I unlocked him. Was it in the military high command? I've kind of forgotten. That's quite bad. If not, I'm just going to do division attrition. Minus 8%. Uh, I should probably keep on helping out. The We'll just cut off these divisions. Strength through joy is complete. Okay, just increasing all of our production speeds. Oh... Oh my god, they just lost about 22 divisions. Holy moly. Okay, well their their time is coming. We just need to take Valencia and then, then this is done. That's what I said about Barcelona, but it will definitely be the case for Valencia. I almost guarantee... Almost. There we go. An interesting development. Good. Okay. So we I would like to grow the axis a bit more. Good. Bereit zum Ausrücken. And that sh should be able to do the Angelus now. We can do the Angelus. Let's do that. There we go. Oh, political power minus 300. I don't know that I have the political power to do that at the moment. Oh, damn. Okay, well, I'll wait a little longer. That's annoying. Uh, okay, well, I can do the Anticomma turn pact. I'll do that instead. Oh, okay. I'm giving Rommel the cream of my crop because, I don't know, I just think that he will be best having all of the motorized because I think he gets a bonus for that, doesn't he? Reconnaissance and, well, he gets extra armor speed. Lots of researches and loss for aviation. She's gone. She's gone away permanently. Right. Just give myself as many bonuses as possible. Can I get field hospitals? I can't. I would like them. Because I don't want to take the hit of the minus, su like, such political, like, thingy. I think it'll be, ah, oh, screw it. I'm just going to do it. It'll be fine. 
I just want more factories as quick as possible. Well, really, they only have five and nine, but still... Still, I think we should probably do it. Leadership purges. Okay. Just putting a bit of pressure on them. Okay. So, we've done concentrated industry, we've done Anschluss. So, ever since Austria lost its empire, it has been seeking a new destiny. Many turned to Germany for guidance, and after witnessing the progress made by National Socialism, it increased the desire of the Austrians to merge with their brethren in the West. However, not everybody in Austria thinks the same, and some of Germany's leadership of... Uh, no, we'll push. Done. It is done. Welcome to the Reich. And we might as well demand the Sudetenland as well. I might as well gobble up as much territory as possible. I will probably back down if the Allies get into a... Uh, like a... Well. If they get moody with me, I will back down for now. Because we are only in 1937 and I can't afford a war on a ton of fronts. Probably should start getting some extra fighters. Definitely some extra motorised. Get some more close air support and bombers. Always need lots of tanks. Okay, we'll max everything out. Getting field hospitals. I could get signal companies as well. Okay, oil, give me more Venezuela. Rubber, British Malaya. Because in the grand scheme of things, they're not really that much of a threat. Okay, well, we'll give you a few more divisions. I think Czechoslovakia could actually put up a bit of a... Yeah. The Munich Conference. Okay, talks have been held in Munich between the leaders of Germany, Britain, France and Italy. Recognising the hopelessness, the Czechs have surrendered the Sudeten territory. Great. And... I think I might demand Slovenia. Yeah. So you, now, will just keep pushing, putting pressure on them. Peace for now. I can't say it's going to be for that long, though. Because we are becoming quite the powerful military. I am rebuilding quite rapidly. More rapidly than I usually do, actually. Am I becoming competent, or has this just mod turned Germany into a mega power? But I am gobbling up more factories, which is lovely. Oh, oh I probably I should probably stop that. Oh yeah, as soon as as soon as that happens, I'm stopping it. I didn't realise how much political power I was losing. Oh, that's a bit dire. Okay, so that does okay. That puts in a bit more restrictions on me. Okay. Can't do that yet. Where are my U-boats? Can't do that yet. Ah, I'm not too fussed about those. Okay. Yeah, that's my bad. I wasn't looking at the political power. That is quite dire. Wow. Yeah, I've gone too much. Oh. So they rejected it. And they're not being guaranteed. Okay, well, let's do stuff that doesn't actually cost any political power. In fact, if there's anything that gives me political power... 
No. No, none of it does. We'll do the first Vienna reward. That doesn't cost me anything. Uh, just in case the French get any ideas about joining, doing their little entente, I think I'll reassign my 50 divisions to the border. What are they doing? The Grand Battery. Ah, okay. And what are the UK doing? General rearmament. Oh, well. Because oh. how many divisions do Yugoslavia have? Okay, well, you, sir, will be absolutely fine. Uh, what I will do, however, is give you some... Yeah, well, reposition yourself down to there. Okay, in response, the signatories of the Treaty of Versailles, the great powers agree that Slovenia should be ceded to Germany. However, an impassioned... Speak. Da -da -da -da. Oh, well, okay, we will crush them then. And... Don't have any allies, but... Fine. You wanted this. Uh, no, I'm okay, Italy. Maybe later. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Well, tension is very high, though. Oh, we are actually failing against Yugoslavia. Do I have air superiority? I don't in the Alpines. Oh. Okay, well, let's send them down to Munich. We'll pause our assault. There we go. Independent state of Croatia. Oh, they've actually had a rebellion. You know what, Independent State of Croatia? Come on in. Join in the fun. Brilliant. Well, that worked out perfectly, really. Because now all of their divisions are out without supply. Ha! Ah. That is delicious. Okay, what else can we do? Increase construction speed, please. Keep on going, boy. Actually, you know what? We can push now. We can push. It's fine to push. First Vienna award. Good. Can we actually get southern flank? So that's Turkey. Northern flank. Yeah. I would very much like to have Italy join. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we'll do the second Vienna Award then. Okay. So the Yugoslavian army is about to be absolutely destroyed. And it's time to gobble up those divisions. Actually, they're going to lose pretty much their entire army. There we go. How many did they lose then? 139,000. Yeah, it's... This war is done. They should have just given me the territory. They were proud, but foolish. Uh, yeah, we'll recall them. We'll recall them. I'm probably not going to help the Chinese out. So you seem to be leading the Grand Army at the moment. That's fine. And do they even have any divisions anymore? They don't have any divisions. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. I just want that. That's that's fine for me. Um, I'm done. You can take the rest. There we go. So the axis has grown slightly. So you're without... Oh. Kingdom of Hungary. Come on in. Ooh. 
Lovely stuff. How many divisions do you have? Well, well it doesn't matter. The axis is growing. That's all that matters. And we have more divisions. So I guess we'll start a new force full of a field marshal von Kluge. Okay, we'll do the Pact of Steel. Hopefully they'll join. I'm really, ho I'm really hoping they will. Ooh, improved. Oh, oh, oh. The um, oh, the equipment conversion will be amazing. Love it. I'm very surprised they just let me gobble up Yugoslavia. Okay, I'm going to let that all recover for the moment and instead go down and try and, you know, help out the Luftwaffe here because we will need to have a powerful air force. We still have, you know, over a year before the war is meant to begin and I think I'm in a better state yeah 118 divisions yeah my military is quite large now we've got 1 million men in the field 99% equipment in the field so that's pretty good so I'm going to end the first episode here we've accomplished a lot we're expanding the Axis and the Reich so yeah if you want to see more please do let me know in the comments below leave a like on the video and until next time everyone I bid you a very very good day Many thanks to Ivan, Nicholas, Travis, Shack Attack, and Isaris Productions for being ridiculous, rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too.